In late 2015, uh, the state of Minnesota discovered 1,4-dioxane in our water source, which was from the Twin Cities Army Ammunition Plant. And uh, there were no standards by the EPA at the time, and they decided to set a standard of one part per billion. And we were below that threshold, but we need, knew we needed to do something, and we needed to be able to be proactive in our approach. 1,4-dioxane is a chlorinated solvent that's commonly found in personal care products and uh, detergent, sometimes found in food. It's also considered to be an emergent contaminant, and the challenge with it is that it doesn't break down naturally, so it takes an advanced oxidation process to actually treat it. At the very beginning of the process, as soon as we were alerted that we had a new contaminant of concern, we immediately contacted the Army uh, and had their attorneys from the Department of Justice and others uh, sit down with the city and go and, and go through the, the sources, the contaminants, talk about the risk of doing not doing anything, um, what the risk is to the public. And the big pit issue here was public trust. Um, it takes a lot for a city council and for government to, to maintain and keep the trust of the public. And that was paramount in our conversations. And the Army wanted to have trust with the government or with, with the local government and the city wanted to have trust with its residents and providing safe and reassure them that we're providing safe drinking water. We had to make sure that you, I feel like it's very critically important that you're open, honest, authentic and genuine with what's going on. Uh, nobody wants to be fear mongering but also the public does do, deserve to hear what we know, what we know at the time and also the guarantee that we're going to keep communicating and providing resources for them. What you're looking at to my left would be the SCADA system, the overall operation of the water treatment facility. So basically, as I mentioned, we have three municipal wells. The water starts at the well heads, is pumped to the treatment center, and we can see every step of the uh, both the chemical addition and the treatment of the water before it goes out to the public. Um, in, in these tanks behind me, you'll see the, there's actually eight tanks of this size uh, in this entire building. And what happens is the water comes into this building and it used to still have trichloroethylene in it. And the granulated activated carbon would remove that TCE contamination before it would get out to the city's water system. The result of this process enables us to provide clean water to our citizens, residents, as well as what water isn't used that flows downstream, uh, eventually into the Mississippi River, is purified water. The Army was a fantastic partner with the city of St. Anthony. They really did their due diligence on their side. The fact that we were open with them, they trusted the process that we were going through, and in the end we were able to reasonably get a settlement for about ten and a half million dollars that covered the cost of their their contaminants uh, to the city residents of St. Anthony Village. We've got a long history of doing what's right here in St. Anthony uh, re regardless of what it might cost. We do that because we have to represent the citizens and all the citizens at, at one time. I think the team that we compiled to make this happen, to accomplish this, this goal, was, was outstanding. The entire operation was designed, constructed, and online within 18 months. So I, I think it's important that you have the right members on your team.